What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Playoffs. Monday, May 24th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a two game slate tonight, NBA playoffs. So let's take a look at the point guard position. It's always nice to have at least one game of the playoffs under our belt so we can see who's playing minutes. It's really important since the rotation changes in the playoffs. So at the point guard position, I like Drew Holiday from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Miami Heat who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing point guards, but Drew Holiday has averaged 36.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 42 and 43 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 42 and 33 minutes. So he played 42 minutes in that first game of the playoffs, so I like to see that. And he's projected at 39.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 7,900 fan duel salary. And he's 200 less on DraftKings. And I like this pick because he scored 42, 43, 34, 50, and 47 fantasy points in the last five games versus the Heat. So he has excellent player versus team history. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 223 points scored in this game. So I like Drew Holiday here versus the Miami Heat. Now I also like Goran Dragic. I liked him uh, last the, in the first game. And I like him again here tonight. He played 34 minutes and scored 28 fantasy points. He's only 5,000 DraftKings salary. So he only needs 25 fantasy points to get you five times value on DK. So I like Goran Dragic on DraftKings here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And now if you're looking for a value play at the point guard position, take a look at Monte Morris from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the 12th worst defense overall and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Monte Morris has averaged 19.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 19, 17, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 21, 17, and 17 minutes. I think he can score around 20 fantasy points here tonight. Now on FanDuel, he's 4,300 FanDuel salary, so I'm not as interested in playing him on FanDuel, although I still like him as a value play over there, but he's 400 less on DraftKings, so I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 227 points scored in this game, and he did score uh, 19, 17, 23, and 17 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Trailblazers, so I think he can hit value on DraftKings. So I like Monte Morris here versus the Portland Trailblazers. And just real quick, I also like Facundo Campazzo from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers. He played 31 minutes last game, scored 27 fantasy points. So if he, if he scores 27 fantasy points again here tonight, that would be five times value or more. So I think he makes an interesting mid-range play. So I like Facundo Campazzo here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. 
If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest you can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video, give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like CJ McCollum from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing shooting guards, CJ McCollum has averaged 37.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He's been super consistent this year. He scored 36, 34, and 36 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 31, and 39 minutes. He's projected at 38.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 7,500 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. So we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 227 points scored in this game. So I like CJ McCollum here versus the Denver Nuggets. Now, another shooting guard that I like, if you're looking for a value play on DraftKings or a mid-range play on FanDuel, I like Dante DiVincio or Dante DiVincenzo from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing shooting guards, but Dante DiVincenzo He's averaging 24.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. Now, I like this pick because he played 37 minutes last game. He scored 24 fantasy points, and he scored 30 fantasy points in the game before that, playing 27 minutes. But I like that he played 37 minutes. Gives him a lot of opportunity to rack up these fantasy points. He's projected at 26.2 fantasy points here tonight. It's just about five times value. He's 5,300 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 less on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 223 points scored in this game. And I like this pick because he scored 24, 30, 32, 26, and 24 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Heat. So I like Dante DiVenzenzo here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Jimmy Butler has averaged 45.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He scored 44 fantasy points last game, played 45 minutes, and he's projected at 43.6 fantasy points here tonight. Now on FanDuel, that's 4.8 times value. He's 9,100 FanDuel salary, but he's 600 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. Now the DraftKings prices, they all look, most of them are are lower than the FanDuel prices, so they do look better. So I, I like that price on both sides, but uh, Vegas thinks there's gonna be 223 points scored in this game. We know he scored 44 fantasy points in game one. I think he can do uh, 45 fantasy points or more here tonight. So I like Jimmy Butler here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, another value play for you, or a value play for you at the small forward position I like Carmelo Anthony from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing small forwards, 
Carmelo Anthony. He's averaged 22.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 26, 17, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 21 minutes in each of those games. He's projected at 21.4 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he could score 25 fantasy points or more in this one and get you over five times value. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 100 less on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 227 points scored in this game. So I like Carmelo Anthony here versus the Denver Nuggets. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Aaron Gordon from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the 12th worst defense overall, and they give up the six most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Aaron Gordon has averaged 26.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 29 fantasy points last game. He played 28 minutes, so I'm expecting him to do about, about the same here tonight. So he's projected at 24.8 fantasy points, but I think he can score 28 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more, He's 5,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 less on DraftKings. So we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 227 points scored in this game. And he scored 29, 4, and 28 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Trailblazers. But throw that four out, and he's got a pretty good player versus team history. So I like Aaron Gordon here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, a nice mid-range play for you. I like Trevor Ariza from the Miami Heat playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Trevor Ariza has averaged 22 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. But I like this pick because he scored 29 fantasy points and played 38 minutes last game. So playing monster minutes, he has, he's projected at 24 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 26 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 5,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 less on DraftKings. And I like this pick because he scored 29, 24, and 34 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Bucks. So I like Trevor Ariza here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And another value play, this guy just kind of popped out. Uh, I just kind of caught this guy out of my eye. I like Robert Covington from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, but they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Now, Robert Covington has averaged 25.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 12% usage rate. Now, he hasn't played that well the past couple of games, only scoring 18, 20, but then 32 fantasy points in the last three games. But take a look at these minutes that he's playing. 34, 29, and 36. So he's out there. He's getting plenty of minutes. He's got that 30 plus fantasy point upside. He's projected at 26 fantasy points here tonight, which is pretty reasonable considering, considering that's his season average, and that's 5.7 times value. He's 4,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. So I think he makes a pretty nice, I think he makes a great value play on both sites. 
and he scored 18, 20, 25, 12, and 21 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Nuggets. We know Vegas thinks this is gonna, there's going to be 227 points scored in this game. It's a great matchup. He's playing a ton of minutes. His salary's low. He's got 30-plus fantasy point upside. So I think this is one of my favorite value plays on the slate. So I like Robert Covington here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, moving on to the center position. I got a stud pick for you here. I like Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the 12th worst defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Nikolai Jokic has averaged 54.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. Now, he scored 54 fantasy points in game one, played 35 minutes, and he's projected at 49.9 fantasy points here tonight. He's got 60-plus fantasy point upside. I think he can score 54 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 10,700 fan dual salary, and he's the same price on DraftKings. So I like Nikolai Jokic here versus the Portland Trailblazers. And for the Portland Trailblazers, I like Joseph Nurkic playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing centers, Jusuf Nurkic has averaged 31.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 22% uh, usage rate. But I like this pick because he scored 41 fantasy points in 32 minutes in game one, and he's projected at 34.5 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 8,000 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,300 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. And he did score 41 and 45 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Nuggets. So I like Jusuf Narkic here versus the Denver Nuggets. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.